hello <coughs> and welcome to tutorial number five now if you want it would be good if you make a new project and retype all of this or you can delete all of it and then try and write it again the reason is because if you do repetition if you keep on doing it then the easier it will be to memorize it and then you won't have to keep on reverting back to this video or you won't have to revert back to older projects in order just to remember how to initialize everything so if you want to do it or not doesn't matter to me but once you got your project open then follow this tutorial now you might be learning quite a bit of stuff today so just pay attention and take the stuff you need so the first thing I'm just going to be teaching you is a little neat thing so if you notice that when you run your program your programs the window is always your project's name so if I were to run this control F5 oh sorry I forgot to put read key so as you notice my project name is Allegro Tut 1 because that's the name of my project so if you want to change that there's a simple function built into Allegro so you put set underscore window underscore title and in there you just put the title you want so I'm going to be like game or whatever and then when we run this program look it changes it to game so that's some a little neat thing you can do so now let's get into like the in depth into this tutorial so now we're going to be making a mini game loop but and we're going to be learning about key presses so remember when we did install keyboard now we're going to get the user to be able to press the keyboard and some press something on the keyboard and something happens so right now let's make um a variable a boolean variable and if you don't know what that is it just determines if it's true or false and let's name it done and let's equal it to false so this is what a normal game loop is like you basically have if the game is not done so that sign means not so if it's equal to false right you either do that way or you can put if done is equal to false either way is the same then you do something right and therefore you won't need the read key anymore it will keep on looping the program and then when you tell the person to exit the program then it'll exit, then it will do return zero. So this is what our game loop normally looks like. So I'm just gonna be showing you the key presses part. So it kinda sounds confusing now, but later down the road you'll understand it. So now to do a key press, you basically I'm gonna do an if statement. So if the key put key in lowercase and you put uppercase um key and then you put the key that you want the user to press so if they press key up right then something happens now you don't know all the options you have like you don't know all the keys that are available to you so you want to do is right click and then you see go to definition click that and as you see um, a header file comes up and you can see all the things you can put right so that's a little useful tool there so let's go back to our main.cpp so we're gonna put if the user presses the up button that's why we have the if statement so if they press up then we're gonna write some text so you can copy the text from the first tutorial or or from the like first few tutorials or you can make your own again so remember it's text out underscore ex and then I'm going to write it to the screen. Then I'm going to use font 1, the one that we created last tutorial. Then I'm going to put hello world. And then we're going to set it to 0, 0 again. And then make 
echo and then let's make the text red so I'm gonna put 25500 and just make the background transparent just by putting negative 1 and end that and then we're gonna make it that when they press up right five seconds after they press up and they show the message then it will automatically end the loop and the program will exit so put brackets here the braces there then a new keyword you're learning is rest it basically stalls the program for the amount of time you put in here so in the brackets you put the time in milliseconds so a thousand milliseconds equals one second so we want to stall the program for five seconds so we'll put five thousand and then after that we'll put done equals true so then when they press up then I'll show the message five seconds after it will exit the while loop and when it exit the while loop then I'll go to return zero so let's run this program control F5 so as you see it's blank now press up on your keyboard press up says hello world five seconds later it's gonna close right and the program closes so that's just one way of doing it right so here's another way you can do it instead you can put then if key up then it shows that message so to race so if it's key up it shows a message and then we'll put if they press if key key underscore escape then done equals true and that's what most games have they say if the person presses the escape key then it exits the screen so then let's put let's run this program so you, as you see you see nothing if you press up so it's hello world and then if I press the escape key it automatically exits the program so then now you want to do is that if they're if they're not pressing the up key then the text will disappear but if they press the text then it will reappear so let me just make another if statement so I can put no I'll make an else if statement so else if not key so if they're not pressing up then you just copy and paste the text that you put copy and paste and then change the black which is all zeros and the main color section change the black so let's run this program so it's an illusion it's still there and the games are about illusion it's still there but it's black so when you when you're holding up it shows there and when you let go it disappears hold it let go hold let go and then it keeps on looping until you press escape and the game program exits so and that's a little neat thing about key presses so you learned how to do that and you can do it like you can change the type of key they use or something like that and as you notice that we just changed the text to black to blend, the, to blend in with the background which is kind of like an illusion so it's still there you just can't see it and that's what happens in animation animation is just an illusion so you just got an intro into that and I hope you like this tutorial and if you have any questions just comment and I'll answer your questions so that's it for now and bye